Now, the next chapter which we are going to do is the chapter of exports under GST. Everyone, export can be of goods, export can be of goods, and export can be of services. Everyone, export can be of goods, export can be of services also. Yes, sir. Now, export of goods under GST. Can you tell me, everyone, export, what does the what does the definition of export of goods say? If you go ahead and read section number 2, clause 5 of your IGST Act, export of goods just means taking from India, outside India. Taking from India, taking from India, outside India. If you take goods from India, outside India, it is known as export. But sir, can you tell me export of service ka definition everyone? Section number 2 clause 6 of your IGST Act goes ahead and says export of service means sir supplier is in India supplier of services India supplier of services in India Supp recipient of service is outside India place of supply is outside India what you are going ahead and receiving is foreign convertible convertible currency or in case of Nepal and Bhutan INR is also allowed Nepal or Bhutan ka case mein, uh, Nepal and Bhutan ka case mein, INR is also allowed and you both are not mere establishment of distinct person. You both are not only head office and branch office. In that scenario, that is not export of service. I just told you the definition. What do you mean by export of goods, everyone? Export of goods means, sir, just take the goods from India, outside India, export over. Sir, what is export of service? Sir, supplies in India, recipient is outside India, place of supply is outside India. What I am receiving is foreign convertible currency and we both are not mere establishment of distinct person. In that scenario, in that scenario, it will be convert, it will be called as export of service. Always remember, whether it is export of goods or export of service, exports are always interstate yes sir exports are always interstate supply and sir always igst is applicable in case of export yes everyone exports pay always igst is applicable and i hope you guys remember but igst is applicable but sir exports are given the benefit of zero rating yes sir and section number 16 one gives it the benefit of zero rated supply what is zero rated everyone when you supply given lut or bond and itc will be refunded the whole chain is zero rated or when you supply pay the igst itc used to pay your igst and this igst ka refund will be given there are two routes to go ahead and make it zero rated sir what are the two options to make a supply as zero rated number one section number 16 3a sir you can go ahead and supply when you supply under an LUT or bond the IGST the ITC ka refund is given section number 16 3a supply under LUT I, IGST ka, ITC ka refund will be given or sir sir section number 16 3b goes ahead and says payment of IGST pay IGST use your ITC and now claim refund of IGST yes sir we remember this now, if it is supply of service, same. Supply of service also, section number 16.3a says, you can go ahead and supply under LUT or bond without paying IGST. Just give an LUT or bond, ITC ka refund shall be given. Or section number 16.3b, supply on payment of IGST, use your ITC and whatever IGST you have paid, the total amount ka refund can be taken. Do you guys recall that there were two ways to go ahead and export? Yes, sir. One was IGS, LUT or bond, ITC refund route. And the second was IGST ka payment method route. Pay the IGST, ITC used and IGST ka refund was given. Yes, sir. Let's go ahead and understand. Tell me one thing, everyone. Whenever you are going ahead and supplying goods, whenever you are going ahead and supplying goods, and sir so supposingly people over here i am going ahead and supplying goods when i supplied the goods export export of goods may i went ahead and gave lut or bond in this scenario what will happen quickly tell me everyone 
whenever you give LUT or bond, what will happen? Sir, in case of export of goods, whatever ITC is there, ITC ka refund will be given. Can you tell me everyone, ITC ka refund will be given under which section? Do you guys recall in your chapter of refund, you had gone ahead and learned section number 54, section number 54.3, which went ahead and told you along with the formula based refund will be given to you. 89.4 ka formula was there and 89.4 ka formula went ahead and told you, sir, the maximum amount of refund of ITC will be net ITC multiplied by zero rated supply of goods and service divided by adjusted turnover. Do you remember everyone? That is what I'm going to tell over here that, sir, you can go ahead, give an LUT or bond. When you give LUT or bond, ITC ka refund shall be given. And that is as per section number 54.3, read with rule number 89. Four, which is basically, sir, what will you do for the refund? You will have to go ahead and file RFD 01. Yes, sir. Along with that, documentary evidence has to be given and the refund will be processed by the GST department. Everyone and the refund will be based on the formula. What is the formula? Sir, net ITC multiplied by zero rated supply divided by adjusted turnover and the refund will be processed by the GST department. Quickly give me a heads up. Did you guys know this? Yes, sir. We all remember ITC ka refund may, sir, you give an LUT or bond, ITC ka refund will be given. Just file a refund application and ITC ka refund will be given. Same thing over here. In case of export of service, when you go ahead and export the service, you can go ahead and give an LUT or bond, ITC refund, again, claim the ITC ka refund, section number 54.3, read with rule number 89, for the formula based refund will be given and sir, just file an application and department will go ahead and process your refund. Yes, everyone, are you guys able to recall this? Yes, sir, we are all able to recall this. Everyone, I want to go ahead and talk about these two points. I want to go ahead and connect you to one rule. Sir, what is this rule? See, you have to get your ITC ka refund. Now, to get this ITC ka refund, rule number 96 is there, which goes and tells you how to take, how to give jurisdictional officer ko bond or LUT that is told over here. Rule number 96 say export of goods or service under LUT or bond. Whenever you export goods or service, giving LUT or bond, ITC refund is given. But sir, that is given, I have to file an application. But sir, what are the other rule which is applicable? Rule number 96A is applicable, which tells you how. Everyone here, it says before you go ahead and export, Ramesh, before you export the goods, or the service go online so basically if i am a person who is going to export government says ramesh before you go ahead and export go online actually in your online gst portal you have an option to go ahead and file your lut or bond just go ahead and click over there it will say one lut or bond pre-filled will be there just submit over so they are going ahead and telling furnish and bond or lut in gst rfd 11 to your jurisdictional officer and everyone when I am going ahead and giving RFD 11 May, sir, one LUT or I am giving a bond, sir, tell me, letter of undertaking or a bond, sir, can you tell me what am I promising? Baba, what is the promise you are doing in the bond? You are going ahead and telling, sir, I will go ahead and export the goods within three months. How many months? Within three months, sir, you are binding yourself to pay the tax and the interest if goods are not exported within 15 days. If goods are not exported, then within three months, then within 15 days, after three months, you are telling, sir, listen, I will go ahead. I will go ahead and export the goods within three months. I made the export invoice. I will make sure I will export the goods within three months. If I don't export the goods within three months, whatever the tax was there on those goods, I have given you an LUT or bond, no. Well, I have given you an LOT or bond. You are giving me an ITC ka refund over here. Sir, whatever is the tax, I will go ahead and pay it to you. See over here, everyone. If goods are not exported, you are telling, sir, whatever is the tax due plus interest under section number 50, which is 18%. If three months may I don't export, I will give you tax 
plus the interest at the rate of 18%. Or, sir, if I don't receive services, Baba people, export of goods just means taking from India, outside India. But services may, you have to receive the payment. Sir, if I don't go ahead and receive the payment for the service within one year, then sir, within the next 15 days, I promise, means if one year may I can't receive, then within the next 15 days, after one year gets over, I will deposit whatever is the tax due along with whatever is the tax due along with interest, I will go ahead and deposit. That is what you are going ahead and telling in your LUT or bond. Are we clear everyone? Yes, sir, we are clear. It is telling over here before going ahead and exporting, Furnish a bond or LUT in GST RFD 11 to your jurisdictional officer saying, Sir, goods if I don't export in three months or services ka case may, if I don't get the payment within one year, then whatever was the tax due on that supply, I will go ahead and pay that IGST or that tax along with interest at the rate of 18%. After one year gets over, I will go ahead and make the payment within 15 days. Okay, sir, point is clear. Now, sir, once you go ahead and export, now the details of the export invoice, which you go ahead and show in your GSTR1, that will be transmitted to the customs ka. See, GST ka portal is gst.gov.in. Custom ka portal is IceGate ka portal. Here, when you are going ahead and exporting the goods from India, outside India, everyone, listen to me very carefully. When you are going ahead and exporting the goods from India outside India, you will go ahead and file your GSTR1, which is your outward supply, where you will go ahead and tell, sir, this is my export related transaction, export ka invoice. You will go ahead and show the GST portal will communicate the export related invoices to the ICE gate, the common portal of the custom. So it is telling over here when export invoices are furnished by you in GSTR1. They shall be transmitted to the custom for cross verification to the IceGate website. The invoice related details will be sent whether Ramesh has actually gone ahead and exported or not. So that is why they will go ahead and communicate the details of the export invoices to the IceGate website. Then when goods are not exported within time or registered person fails to pay the amount. Sir, within three months you did not go ahead and export. Then within the next 15 days you have to go ahead and pay the amount. Then they are telling if you don't go ahead and pay the amount or oh, within 15 days. You remember everyone, you have to pay the tax due along with interest. If you don't pay, then they are telling LUT or bond facility shall be withdrawn. LUT withdrawn and the, they shall start recovery under section number 79. Do you remember? They will hang you upside down and recover the tax along with interest. Re facility shall be restored when registered person pays the amount. LUT not allowed for those prosecuted for an offense. Sir, letter of undertaking is not allowed for those people who have tax evaded tax greater than 250 lakhs. So for those people, they are going ahead and telling Baba, LUT or bond is not allowed. Pay IGST and export. For people who are criminals basically, who have gone ahead and pro been prosecuted, who have been sent to jail for tax evaded greater than 250 lakh, for them they are going ahead and telling, Sir, go, please pay the IGST and export, LUT and bond will not be applicable. And always remember, provision of this sub rule 1, basically this one is also applicable, mutatis mutandis to zero rated supply which you do to a SEZ unit or SEZ developer. Okay, sir, point is clear. Number one, I went ahead and explained to you whenever you give value to your bond, IGST ka ref ITC ka refund shall be given. ITC ka refund as per section number 163A and section number 163A. I have gone ahead and told you in case of goods and in case of service, how the refund will be given. Is my point clear to all? Is everyone clear till here? Yes, sir, we are all clear. So always remember if you don't export the goods, or you don't go ahead and export the service for which you have gone ahead and given the LUT or bond. They are telling whatever the tax you have not paid, you have to pay uh, within the next 15 days after the expiry of three months or one year. Because one year time in case of service is given to recover the money. If you don't go ahead and recover the money within one year or goods are not exported within three months, then within the next 15 days pay the amount 
of the IGST which you have not paid and you have given LUT or bond. Whatever IGST is not paid, pay it now or else we will start the recovery. Yes, sir, we got it. Next, sir, the next route is don't give any LUT or bond. Simple route, pay IGST, claim a refund of IGST. Sir, supply on payment of IGST, claim a refund of the IGST paid. That is section number 5141. Read with rule number 96 has to be done. Here, you know what happened. Everyone listen. You went ahead and exported your goods. You went ahead to the custom port and customs may you put the goods in a ship and you exported the goods. In this case, everyone, I hope you guys know, whenever you are going ahead and exporting, you file shipping bill or bill of export. You know what? You don't have to go ahead to the GST department. You don't have to go to the GST department and tell, sir, please give me refund of the IGST. No, GST department will not give you IGST ka refund here. In case of export of goods, when you go ahead and file your shipping bill, your shipping bill or your bill of export is your refund application. Always remember, at the custom port, there is a GST ka officer who is there. And under custom, there is a GST officer who will be placed and that guy will go ahead and give your GST ka refund. In case of export of goods, the shipping bill or the bill of export is your refund application and the refund is processed by the proper officer of custom. Basically, a GST ka officer is placed with the customs now and that custom ka officer now is become a proper officer of custom. He will go ahead and process your refund. Everyone over here, sir, but if it is supply of service ka case, everyone over here, I went ahead and supplied services outside India, sir, in that scenario, the custom port did not come only, in that scenario, whatever IGST you have paid, the IGST ka refund will be given by GST department only, what will you do, file a refund application RFD01, along with that, give your documentary evidence and the refund will be processed by the GST department. Refund of goods, refund of service. Refund of goods on payment of IGST. Sir, simple. Shipping bill which I had filed is only my refund application. But in case of services, I, when I want IGST ka refund, I will have to go ahead and claim IGST ka refund under rule number 89. I hope you guys remember that you have to go ahead and file a refund application and refund shall be processed by the GST department. Whatever IGST you have paid, sir, this is IGST payment method. When you pay the IGST, take refund of the IGST because ITP you have already used it. So, sir, IGST ka refund will be given over here. Services ka case me, IGST ka refund is given by the GST department. Goods ka Goods ka refund will be given by whom? Sir, the customs. So, sir, let's go ahead and read over here. Rule number 96. It is applicable when you go ahead and export the goods on payment of IGST. Everyone, listen to me very carefully. Very simple it is. You will go ahead. You will go ahead and file a shipping bill. And then you will go ahead and put your goods in the custom port in the ship and you will export. They are going ahead and telling you how the IGST ka refund will be given to you. The IGST which is paid on the goods which are exported, that will be refunded to you by the customs. Are we all clear till here? Quickly give me a heads up. Did you all get it till here everyone? Yes, sir. We all got it. Let's go ahead. Everyone over here now. See, it says refund of IGST paid on paid on goods, services or both exported out of India. But in case of services, refund is given by GST department. Goods ka case mein refund is given by the custom department. Shipping bill or the bill of export is deemed refund application. An application shall be deemed to be filed when you have filed the shipping bill. And this master of the ship, do you know everyone, person in charge of the ship? Person in charge of the ship or the aircraft or the vessel goes ahead and files departure manifest. And he writes in the departure manifest, your shipping bill ka details are given by him. Telling everyone, listen to me. I went ahead and filed a shipping bill with the customs. I hope you guys remember. I will go ahead and show you over here. 
i hope you guys remember in your customs it is there i want to quickly recall you guys everyone when you go ahead and file your shipping bill with the customs and now when this person who is living from india he will go ahead and file a departure manifest when this guy who is living from india he files the departure manifest in the departure manifest your shipping bill ka details he has to give only then the custom department will give the refund to you are we clear so you have filed your shipping bill this guy gave the departure manifest sir your shipping bill the person is telling with regards to this shipping bill this is the departure manifest only then the custom will give you your refund remember always everyone over here now see it says shipping bill or oh, is the dream refund dream refund application an application is deemed to be filed when the person in charge files the departure manifest or the export manifest in case of vehicle the person in charge the driver will file import report and he covers the shipping bill or bill of export and you you have gone ahead and filed your gstr 3b only then the igst ka refund will be given to you okay sir so what should happen first of all always remember you should file your shipping bill and now the goods will be put in the shape or the aircraft etc the person will go ahead and file to the custom department he will file the departure manifest sir when the departure manifest is filed and your ship in the departure manifest your shipping bill ka details are there they are matching then the customs ka, customs ka officer basically which is the gst officer placed at the custom will go ahead and process your igst ka refund but for that you should have gone ahead and also filed your gstr 3b paying your tax only then the igst ka refund shall be given if you don't pay igst by filing your gst at 3b how will they give you igst ka refund and applicant has filed gst at 3b everyone over here now details of export invoices in gst r1 sir listen to me very carefully you being the exporter you will also file your gst r1 in your gst r1 you will give whatever exports you have gone ahead and done this export invoices ka detail the export invoices ka detail will be transported to the customs ka department basically your gstr1 you will go ahead and file the export invoices in your gstr1 on the gst ka portal the gst portal will go ahead and communicate the detail to the ice gate which is the customs ka portal to go ahead and verify to go ahead and verify uh, that actually the goods have been exported or not which are covered by the export invoice you will show in your gstr1 the export invoice those details will be communicated to the ice gate ka portal where where basically the shipping bill or bill of entry is filed to go ahead and check cross verify whether the goods have actually been exported or not then they are going ahead and telling upon receipt of the information now once once the custom officer at the port comes to know that you have gone ahead and filed your gst r 3b and you have paid the igst then this person will go ahead and ice gate or the proper officer at custom shall go ahead and process the refund your refund will be given basically you filed your shipping bill you filed your gst r 3b paid your igst everyone you paid your igst custom department came to know custom department will give the igst ka refund simple pay the igst gst r 3b and take the refund next sir withholding of refund everyone over here now listen to me very carefully now you went ahead and filed your shipping bill you went ahead and send your goods at the port now the goods were put in the shape and exported now this custom officer at the port was about to give you the refund but your jurisdictional officer jurisdictional gst officer jurisdictional gst officer went ahead and told him hey don't give the money to ramesh withhold we have to deduct some money from ramesh so sir he will go ahead and withhold your refund see everyone withholding of refund upon request received from joint commissioner of central tax state tax unitary tax do you guys remember section number 54 10 and 
under your refund ka chapter it was told that if the proper officer or the custom officer want they can withhold your refund here your officer can't withhold your refund so he will go ahead and tell this officer customs ka officer hey withhold the refund and he will go ahead and withhold the refund is everyone getting it over here yes sir we are all getting it let's go ahead now this person will go ahead and withhold your refund okay why is he withholding your refund because your jurisdictional officer told him don't process the refund now we have to deduct some outstanding dues then they will go ahead and withhold the refund see proper officer determines or this officer only went ahead and determined ramesh has gone ahead and done some contravention he has done violation then goods exported in violation then this officer either he will receive a request or either a suo moto he will go ahead and withhold might be you have exported those goods which were prohibited some thing you have gone ahead and done you have done some violation then the proper officer at the custom will go ahead and withhold your refund now upon withholding the proper officer of igst at the custom port basically this guy will go ahead and intimate applicant and the jurisdictional commissioner so he will inform you that your refund has been withheld and he will go ahead and inform the jurisdictional officer also sir okay we are holding on to the refund don't worry about it next upon transmission of intimation proper officer at the cgst sgst etc shall pass an order in part b it was earlier now it is part a of gst rfd 07 he will go ahead and inform you in gst rfd 07 part a ramesh your withhold your refund at the custom port has been withheld who will go ahead and inform your jurisdictional officer will inform you see he will go ahead and withhold the refund he will go ahead and inform this officer this officer will go ahead and inform you by going ahead and sending part a gst rfd 07 and telling that your refund has been withheld okay sir now sir supposingly later uh, refund i want then sir applicant is entitled later they understood he understood okay we should give the refund or he will go ahead jurisdictional officer went ahead and told him okay sir please give the refund to ramesh then the withheld refund will be released jurisdictional officer of the sgs cgst sgst utgst proceed to refund and pass the order if applicant is entitled then the refund or will be given refund will be processed and order will be passed gst rfd 07 after passing so sir everyone listen to me very carefully but before going ahead and passing your rfd 06 may refund sanction order first they will go ahead and pass part b gst rfd 07 may that sir withheld refund has been released that order will be passed the are thereafter rfd 06 may refund sanction order shall be passed for notified goods for some notified goods always remember everyone refund will be given to the government of bhutan and not to the exporter for some notified goods they are telling we will not give the refund to the exporter we will give it to the government of bhutan okay this is one notified goods related one notification will come but as of now nothing next nothing applicable to you next for refund on igst paid on service so service ka refund everyone igst paid on services what will happen igst paid on services are sir igst paid on services will be refunded by normally by gst department we have to file a refund application and refund shall be processed quickly tell me everyone are we all clear till 96a and 96 96 a and rule number 96 is everyone clear till here yes sir we are all 100% clear till here let's go ahead now listen to me very carefully there are two things one is export of goods export of goods mean taking from india outside india and the government gives you the refund yes everyone 
रिफंड वेदर आई का रिफंड और आईजीएसटी का रिफंड एज सुन एज यू सेंड द गुड्स आउटसाइड इंडिया टेकिंग ऑफ गुड्स फ्रॉम इंडिया आउटसाइड इंडिया एक्सपोर्ट ओवर एंड यू टेक ए रिफंड सर एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ सर्विसेज में एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ सर्विसेज में बट एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ सर्विसेज में सप्लाईज इन इंडिया रिसिपियंट इज आउटसाइड इंडिया प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाईज आउटसाइड इंडिया इफ यू रिसीव फॉरेन करेंसी ओनली देन आई टी सी और आई जी एस टी का रिफंड इज गिवेन इन केस ऑफ सर्विसेज डू यू गाइज अग्री विथ मी ये सर बट इन केस ऑफ गुड्स बट इन केस ऑफ गुड्स रिफंड इज गिवेन इन रेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ फॉरेक्स रियलाइजेशन फॉरेक्स रियलाइजेशन इज नॉट मैंडेटरी इन केस ऑफ गुड्स टेकिंग फ्रॉम इंडिया आउटसाइड इंडिया स्टोरी ओवर यू कैन गो एड एंड टेक द रिफंड ऑफ आई टी सी एंड आई जी एस टी बट टेल मी वन थिंग एवरी वन वेदर इट इज एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ गुड्स और इट इज एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ सर्विस वाई इज द गवर्नमेंट गिविंग यू जीरो रिलेटेड सप्लाई का बेनिफिट बिकॉज गवर्नमेंट वॉन्ट्स टू अर्न फॉर एक्स हियर ऑल्सो एंड हियर ऑल्सो बट यू नो वट पीपल वेर गोइंग एंड एंड डूइंग पीपल वेर एक्सपोर्टिंग द गुड्स टेकिंग द रिफंड नाउ फॉर एक्स रियलाइज नॉट रियलाइज दे वेर नॉट बॉदर्ड ओनली Are you guys able to understand what is the problem? Government went ahead and saw in service to, in service to we will go ahead and give the refund only when the forex is realized, because export of service is when supply is in India, recipient is outside India, place of supply is outside India, and you are receiving forex only on the realization of forex the refund of ITC or IGST was given. So services may problem was not coming, but in case of goods. Government saw people used to go ahead and export, take the refund because export means taking from India outside India. But they stopped getting forex only. Forex realized, not realized. There was lot of problem which was happening, and hence government went ahead and told, sir, if you don't realize this forex within the time limit as per FEMA, whatever GST we had paid you, ITC ka refund we had given. Or IGST ka refund we had given, we will go ahead and recover this amount. Did you guys understand 96B, which I just now went ahead and told? Yes, everyone. Did you guys get it? Rule number 96B. Yes, sir. Government went ahead and introduced rule number 96B because people were not going ahead and realizing forex, and hence government went ahead and told recovery of refund of unutilized ITC. Or the IGST paid, whatever IGST is refunded or ITC is refunded, whatever it is, the refund will be recovered. Where export proceeds are not realized, means if forex is not being realized, then whatever ITC refund or IGST refund is given in case of export of goods, that will be recovered. They are telling over here the person to whom refund is given shall deposit the amount refunded. To the extent of non-realization of the sale proceed. So, supposingly, everyone over here, you went ahead and exported the goods, and government gave you ITC ka refund ten lakh rupees. Now, you did not go ahead and recover. You did not go ahead and recover the forex within the time limit as per FEMA. FEMA ka time limit. We don't have to study, but within the time limit of FEMA, if you don't get the forex, whatever ITC ka refund was given. Or when you exported, you paid IGST and you took IGST ka refund. Whatever refund was given to you, please give it back to the government, along with interest at the rate of, along with interest at the rate of 30 days after the expiry. Basically, after the expiry of the time limit allowed by FEMA means within 30 days you have to go ahead and give after the time limit. As per FEMA, once the time limit of FEMA is over, if you don't realize the foreign currency, whatever was the refund given, give it back to the government. Failure to deposit. If you don't give it to the government within 30 days of the time limit, once the time limit is gone, within 30 days you give you should give the money to the government. If you don't give, amount shall be recovered in accordance with section number 73 and 74. Demand order will be passed. This amounts के लिए whatever ITC refund was given or IGST refund was given, they will give you a demand order under 73 or 74, and now they will hang you upside down and recover the amount for recovery of erroneous refund. It is like an erroneous refund, and within three years or five years, they can recover along with 
interest the day they had paid you the refund till the date you pay them the amount you have to pay interest sir no recovery for an example i went to the rbi and told sir sir every time i am recovering the amount only this time i could not do it i am a good guy rbi went ahead and told no problem this is a bad debt ramesh ka actually the foreign supplier is not paying it's a bad debt rbi went ahead and writes off the requirement of realization of forex on my merit that i am a good person then in that scenario i do, i don't have to go ahead and give the money back to the government if rbi writes off the requirement to realize the forex sir you know what happened i went ahead exported the goods i took itc ka refund later i government went ahead and recovered the amount because i could not realize the forex later i realized the forex then whatever amount was recovered that amount will be given back to you see everyone if sale proceeds are realized post recovery produce evidence within 3 months from the date of realization and recovered amount shall be refunded they will give it back to you are we all clear till here quickly give me a heads up did you guys understand exports under gst everyone yes sir we all got it i would like to go ahead and close my short and sweet chapter of exports under gst over here everyone